Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to show you how to place the GE built-in monogram in diagnostic mode. First thing you want to do is hold these four buttons down at the same time. As you'll see, you'll see zero, 00. That means you're in diagnostic mode. To move through each test is press up and down on both sides of the display and press the temp and display to activate the test. P stands for pass, so this test will go through all the thermistors. Here's a list above of what each thermistor is. So once the test is done, you'll just press the button to the test that you want to activate and press once again, test 1-0. This test opens the dampers, so you should hear the dampers open and close. So once you verify the damper is open and closing correctly, you can move forward to the next test. Okay, next test is the fan speed test. This test will activate each fan in the refrigerator, the condenser fan and the evaporator fan motor, and any other fans that you have at the bottom of the fridge, like the deli fan. Okay, next test is the defrost heater test. If your freezer's, freezer and fresh food section is not cooling well, sometimes you can have a defrost problem. So if you're not knowing if it's the board or the defrost heater, this is a good test. Once you activate, if you start to hear some hissing, just open the freezer door and kind of put your head up the top of the freezer. That's where the evaporator is up there. And if you start to hear some hissing, that tells you that the defrost heater is working. So that's a good test. Test 1-5. This is a refrigerator reset. Once you reset your refrigerator, just give it uh, up to 15 minutes to turn back on by itself and just let it reboot itself. And that's basically it with that. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. And if you have any comments, just leave them in below. Thank you.